Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to get a cool um, desktop background like this one. Um, well, it doesn't take long. Um, if you want a more better, if you want a better one that looks better, um, you have to spend more time on it. Um, I'm going to add something which is a sh drop drop shadow from the X. Um, <clears throat> I only thought of it now, otherwise I would have already done it. <coughs> this one. So, um, yeah, first open open GIMP. If you want to know how to get the black theme or how to put the windows exactly where you want them, um, my last video, or my first video actually, was on how to do that. Alright, so first you want to click File, New, and you want to make it the size of your screen, which in my case is 1280 by, uh, by 800. Advanced Options, you want to uh, take Transparency. Okay. Now go to your internet browser. It's uploading my first video right now. <laughs> Go to Google search. Um, actually, if you want exactly these pictures, um, I'll put them up because I'm using Google Germany. <laughs> um, uh, they'll be in the description, the links to them. Alright, click flowers, pictures, there they are, there they should be, there they are. Uh, sorry, I have a cold. Once again, save them to your desktop or whatever you want. You can delete them afterwards. And um, Apple. And the first one. Nice. You can choose any picture you want, but I'm gonna choose these ones just for uh, just because I already have them and yeah, this is how I made it exactly. All right, and I can close that. Oh, it's already uploaded now. Uh, next thing you wanna do, you're gonna click File, Open as Layers, uh, Desktop, Two Flowers, Open. Uh, now you want to click scale, click it, and make it the size of your of your um, picture. 800 scale. Uh, you want to move it around so it's right cent it's centered. There you go. That's nice. Let's put that down a bit. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Select none. That's already selected none. All right. Um. Now you want to. Um, click file open. Yes, you want to open this one just like that, or yeah. Then you want to. Well, now you can do. Um, first you, you can do this. I just forgot kind of blur, uh, Gaussian blur, and make that a hundred. Yes, a hundred big. Now go filters blur, uh, pixelize. Make that twenty. Be right back. Two seconds. Sorry, my mom just called me. So, um, this is what it'll look like after you pixelized it. Go uh, filters blur, motion blur now, and make that zoom on about a hundred. I'm gonna make that exactly hundred now. Oops, not zero. Hundred. Okay. And now you have this um picture where you actually, it's um oh yeah it's still blurring. Um, it will be still blurred. You can't even see what it was before. Um, now you can go to your Apple, and you want to click this magic wand thingy. Uh, select the white area. Uh, click um, select invert. Because you want to select the Apple, you click... Uh, what you could also do, uh, you could click the color pick tool. Let's go select none. And select the black. Click... Um, actually, the color select tool will be better. Um, so do that. Um, now click... What was it? Oh, edit, copy, or cut, whatever you want. And as soon as this is done blurring, which is right now, you want to open a new layer, and you want to paste it. Uh, edit. It will probably paste on a new layer anyway. Yeah, like I think always. So I can delete this layer. Actually, I'm not going to. Uh, you'll need that layer, so leave that where it is, or pull it a bit, whatever you want. Um, now you want to make this white fill this layer with white so bucket tool white and secondary click alpha to selection um, and then here click go to the white layer uh, select invert and um, uh, where is it edit clear um, now you can go select none go to your white layer well, where's the white apple now? 
and click filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can make it anything you want. I'm going to leave it at 100 now. Just go about to the middle. There it is. There you can see it's really blurred, but that will give it a nice glow effect. Uh, you could also pull it to the front, um, which also have a kind of cool effect, but um, I'm going to put it to the back now. <clears throat> Alright, um, the next thing you want to do, you want to uncheck these. And you want to add a new layer before the flower, uh, like in front of the flowers. Alright, and you want to go to the text tool and add a big X, which I'm going to do black now. Oh, that was stupid. Black. Okay, make it about size uh, 1000, and something bold would be good, or, yeah. Let me just look for something, sounds bold, yeah, I think that's good enough. Oh, uh, I like to center it, it was already pretty much centered, because that was the size of the square. Uh, move it around, move it... Uh, that's too small. So go to font and make that. Wait, okay, make sure it's click and make that 1200 maybe. Enter. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Uh, now move it so it's about in the middle. Now, because you centered it, it will be where the, when the lines are, um, the outer lines, this one and this one. And they are. Pretty much the same distance from theirs, but, but um, from their sides. Uh, I can delete this new layer which you made because the text will automatically go to a new layer, like almost everything does. And um, now you want a secondary click. Well, you want to put it to the back first of all. You want a secondary click. Uh, um, text or alpha to selection, it doesn't matter. Um, and you want to click two flowers. You want to go to that layer and you want to click. Um, select invert and edit clear. Um, now you're going to go to the X layer. This is for making the shadow, which I didn't make before, but now I'm going to do it. All right, go to the X layer and go filters, blur, blur, and make that. Yeah, I think 100 is good. Let's see. Yeah, that gives it a nice drop shadow. Um, now make these two visible. And let's move them. So you can either merge them down, merge the black one down to the white one, or you can link them and then move it. So you move both of them and not only one. Like this. I think that's good. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put it a bit there. Like that. Yeah. Um, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale that up. Oh, hold down control to make it nice and straight. Yeah, like that, I think. It's good. Scale. And the blur scaled with it, like I expected. And I'm going to make it go out of the picture a bit, like that. Perfect. Um, now, all you have to do is go to the background, um, go to the bucket select tool, and colors, type in 343434. Click OK and fill it. Um, now the shadow gives it a nice little standout effect, um, which I don't have on here. Um, so, yeah, now you can just um, save it. So file, save as, um, go to your desktop or wherever you want. Um, save it like that, so you can edit it, and then go file, save as, and save it as JPEG. JPEG, save. Export, uh, quality, make that 80, there you go, save. Uh, and here is my JPEG picture. Yeah, now you can just go here, um, change desktop background. And I already have a, sorry, I already have a desktop folder here. And there's my picture. And now the background, um, <coughs> Background has changed. Um, the only thing I don't like that uh, Apple is a bit pixelized. Um, I, th I guess you could click feather edges, but um, we didn't do that now. I have 10 seconds left, so um, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.